Good day, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon for notifications. Today, I'm going to be doing a reef. Now, listen to me carefully. It's a reef drone trace. What we require for it is 1.1 mil Kingfisher nylon. That's going to be the main line part of it. Two by three power swivels, 6.0 circle hooks, but you do not want to get caught on the reef. 38 kilo Kingfisher nylon as your hook snoot. Obviously, it's going to be a long trace, so we need a little yo-yo like this. Our 28 mil float, just to float it up. You obviously don't want the hooks lying on top of the reef. So you need to float it up. Our trusty mustard scissors and a pair of side cutters if you can't get through the nylon. Okay, what we're going to do, first of all, is just move everything out. Quick and easy, start with our 1.1 or 1.2 mil nylon. We're going to make our leader part of it between the swivels 1.2 meters long. 1.2, I'm happy with that. Double it. So I get the right measurements. So there's the leader part of it. I'm going to take three of our power swivels. They're the two by threes. One, two, three of them. And we're just tying a figure of eight onto it. Okay, so here we go. Remember the top part or the big eye of the hook will go to your leader. The bottom part in a straight line will be what we're using. One, two, three. There we go again. One, two, three. Remember if you want to see this figure of eight, don't forget there's a link in the description there. And you'll see how I tie it slowly. This I'm just doing a lot quicker. Try and get through it. So all we're going to do now is cut off all the, the tag end pieces. So pretty much what we've got is the swivel going to your leader, the second one, and of course the third one. The third one, we're going to make it 500 long. We're going to cut it off because that's going to be attached to our sinker. I'm just going to grab a sinker here so you can see. So. There is our sinker, and again, figure of eight attached to it. I'm just putting the sinker on now to show you what the completed trace looks like. Obviously, when you're going to the beach, it won't be attached. <coughs> okay. So that's going to open up, that's going to open up. Okay. <coughs> We now take our 38 kilo Kingfisher leader line. We're going to make it 500 long, the actual hook snoot. So let's cut that off quickly. 500. So we cut one. And I just use the first one as a measurement for the rest of them. Three of them. Okay, cool. So there's three hook snoots. Take my 6.0 circle lock. I need three of them. And 6.0 seems to be the most popular size for fishing over the reefs. You can still catch your small fish, you can catch your rock cards with it, you can catch your cob with it. Um, pretty much anything will eat a 6.0. Take three of our floats, uh, two point, or 28 mil floats out. Okay, we're going to snell our circle look, our 60 tuna circle. One, two, three. And obviously, if you want to see the knot, there is a link in the description for it. There we go. So there is our first one done. Cut off the tag end. There we go. Okay, now we're just going to take the float, stick the float through. Because we want our bait to float up. We don't want it lying on the reef. Chances are very good it does get stuck on the reef. And of course, this little orange float 
is like a stop sign to the fish to say, hey, here I am, come and eat me. Okay, we're taking the first one. The arm that comes up, we're gonna use that one for our uh, hook snooting. And again, it's just a figure of eight. There we go. Cut off the tag end there. So I can just show you quickly what we're doing. And that's gonna float up in the water. So the float will float up here. Off the bottom of the reef. And it'll move around in the current. And obviously the fish are gonna come and eat it. Okay, so we're just gonna do that again with the other two. Okay, so there we go. The first one in the whole trace is gonna look like this. Let's get my sinker, my sinker over the side. The float is gonna float it up and move it around. Best bait to use for this trace is chocker and you cut it in strips about the size of my finger and you just put it straight on. One, two, three, four pieces. Three pieces is up to you. And it'll just move around looking like a little squid, a little octopus. And yeah, second one, you do exactly the same with. And the third one is that one over there. You fish it over a reef. After 10, 15 minutes, you'll see you get in a bite. Just wind it in. Obviously, your grapnel sinker will come loose and you wind it as fast as you can so you don't get stuck on the reef. Okay, so that's basically the edible trace for fishing over a reef. Okay, a very good idea because it is such a long trace. I'm just going to grab it here quickly. Is to have a weak link in your sinker. So to make a weak link, all we do <coughs> is tie a knot in our line. And if you get stuck, you just pull it and it breaks off. Simple as that. That's what weak links are designed to do. But let's show you another little trick. Because this is a long trace, the easiest way of doing it is taking your first circle look, putting it in, and then just wrapping it around a yo-yo like this. And the last one clips in there. So now the whole trace is wrapped up into a little container like this. And if you want, you can make four or five of them. And we've actually got a lovely little container that we use here to hold these kind of traces in. If you give me two seconds, I'll get it for you. Okay, this is Kingfisher's trace rig bag. What you do is you basically take that trace, you put it inside there. You can have up to 10 of them inside the actual trace holder. And as you need it, you just pull out whichever one you want. Sometimes you want a lighter one, sometimes you want a heavier one. You also get ones or traces that I'm gonna show you later on, which you fish over beach sand areas, and I'll show you how to do it. So that's it guys. It basically rolls up like that little carry bag you've got all your trace rigs all inside it quick and easy you can also use this trace um, wallet or trace rig holder on your ski boat cuda traces if you want the rider traces it works exactly the same this little thing is ideal for fishing off the boats if you want it you just pull out whichever one you want and you're good to go whether it be a cuda trace the rider trace wahoo whatever these little trace rig wallets Holders are excellent for that. There we go.